Hi everyone, Design Shift here. In this video, we will create hollow effect menu bar in Figma. Before we start design file for this are available in our Figma community, the link in the description. So let's get started. We will need some menu icons for our design. So now create a frame and create a rectangle in it and change its color to white. Now for shadow, we can use beautiful shadow plugin. Just right click on the artboard, go to plugins and select manage plugins. Search for beautiful shadow and run it. U and adjust U shadow by simply moving the light source. You can also change shadow color, but we will stick with black for this. Bring it close or far due as per your preferences. Hit apply. Now for hollow effect, add inner shadow by adding another effect and selecting inner shadow. Do some adjustment for perfect hollow effect shadow for our menu bar. Now add stroke and add linear gradient and add white color and adjust opacity. Then bring in the icons. Do some alignments using alignment section. Now add a rectangle under home icon and round up its corners. Change color of bar and icon to red. Enlarge the icon size for cool animation effect. Do some alignments. Reduce size of other icons as compared to selected icon. Now, bring then menu bar out of frame and make six copies of it. Now go to second frame of menu bar and move the slider bar under save icon and enlarge it and change its color and meanwhile resize the home icon to its original size and change color as others. Now repeat the process for post icon. Now for search icon. Move the icons a little bit up for smooth rising animation. And lastly, for profile icon. Now convert each menu bar into a frame. Select the menu bar, right click, and select frame selection. Do same for all. Now we are ready for prototype animation. Go to prototype mode and drop prototype arrow from save icon to second frame in which the icon is selected and an interaction detail set on click. And select smart animation, ease out with timer of 800 milliseconds. Now select post icon and drop prototype arrow to its frame and set the interaction same. Similarly, do for the every icons in the design except for the enlarged main icon of the frame. Now convert each frame to component by hitting component button. Then select all frame and hit combine as variance button. Now create a mobile size frame and round up the corners. Then bring in the menu bar into the frame from assets and hit play button. Feel free to drop your questions and comments down below. We love hearing from and every one of you.